Thank you. I give the call to member for Goldstein. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. And Deputy Speaker, the Goldstein community is blessed, of course, with a wonderful natural environment. But we also have a built environment, and the built environment of Sandringham has come alive as the Sandy Street Art Project sets about rejuvenating tagged and tired walls with vivid works of art. Led by Ian Cochran, the group has finished two pieces which blend street art motifs with powers, powerful Indigenous stories. Artist, artist Mike Shankster's graphic masterpiece Bunjil and the Creation of the Bay sits proudly above Limoncello Cafe, while Mike Eleven's piece Bunjil's Children captures an optimistic vision of Australian multiculturalism just behind the supermarket. As recommended by the Boorung elders, Mike worked with and mentored local Indigenous artist Ben Russell throughout the art project. Sandringham owes many thanks to the long list of street art project volunteers for all of their effort and all of their support in this important project. There are too many to name, Deputy Speaker, but we do need to thank the Boonwurrung Foundation for their incredible support, as well as Haynes Paint, Good Constructions, The Shed, Bayside Shoe Care and Amos Hair. With more projects in the pipeline, if you would like to contribute in fundraising and helping support this important project to beautify our community, to connect our Indigenous heritage to the built environment of our wonderful Goldstein community, you can go to Sandy Street Art Project at Outlook.com or contact the Goldstein office on 9557 4644.